The ReSharper command line tools are a set of free standalone tools that help us automate code quality analysis. In this screencast, we'll look at how these tools work and help us hunt for bad, dead or duplicated code right from the command line or on our CI server. To work with the ReSharper command line tools, we'll need to download them from our website. We can save them to disk and then extract the content so we have the tools available. We'll first look at what the individual tools do and then look at some more practical examples. Let's go! The Inspect Code tool builds on top of ReSharper's code inspections. It executes hundreds of checks on our codes and then generates a report of code issues found. Let's run an example. In its easiest form, all we have to do is run Inspect Code and pass it the path to our solution file. I'll be adding the output argument here as well, so that I can write the inspection results to a file of choice. Depending on the size of our solution, running this command may take a while, as all ReSharper inspections are ran against all projects and all files in there. Just like ReSharper, Inspect Code keeps a cache around, so the next time we use it, running inspections will be much faster. Once completed, we'll see an XML file generated. It contains the results of the code analysis and lists the issues found in our solution, projects and files. Since the ReSharper command line tools are targeted at being used in continuous integration systems and automated processing, having an XML file format here makes sense. But of course, we can also run an XSLT against it and transform the result into a nicely formatted HTML. By the way, the XSLT file I'm using here can be found on the URL shown on screen. Anyway, the result is a nicely formatted HTML file showing inspect code output. Inspect code has several command line arguments we can pass. We can choose which project to analyze instead of the full solution. We can specify the build toolset used, override them as build properties and so on. Inspect code will also make use of the .settings file located in our solution. This lets us configure inspections that will be run. Let's switch to Visual Studio and then open up the ReSharper options. In here, we can select the Inspection Severity page. As an example, let's maybe disable the inspection that checks for get only auto properties and maybe some more. We can then save these settings as a team shared configuration and commit the .settings file that's being generated to source control. This will make sure that all of our team members, as well as our CI server, will use this configuration when inspecting codes. DupeFinder is another ReSharper command line tool which we can use to find duplicated code in our solution. It can actually work on a solution or a project file, or even on individual source files to detect duplicated code across methods. But let's run a simple example. I'll be passing the path to our solution file and specifying the output file to use. The analysis may take a while, but once finished we can open the XML file. Our documentation on the JetBrains website also has an XSLT available, which you can use to transform this one into HTML. The DupeFinder XML output contains information about code duplicates and their relative cost in the code base. The statistics node here shows a summary of duplicates costs. Further down this file, we can see the duplicates that were found, always referring to two or more fragment elements representing actual code duplicates in a specific file. One of the things that I really like is the integration of the ReSharper command line tools with our TeamCity server. This way, we can run Inspect Code or DupeFinder in a continuous integration scenario and check the build quality. We can edit our build configuration and then add a new build step. Both the Inspect Code and DupeFinder tools are bundled with TeamCity. Let's add Inspect Code first. We can choose the version of the command line tools to work with, which can be the bundled version or a custom version that we can upload to TeamCity. Next, we can select the solution for which we want Inspect Code to run. The advanced settings provide several additional options, such as project name filtering, passing in additional command line arguments and so on. I'll add a command line argument here, which will be saving the Inspect Code results file to the working directory. This is not required, but I'll need it to show you something in a bit. Let's save our build step. Now let's add DupeFinder as well. 
Now, just like in spec codes, dupe finder comes as a bundled build step, so let's add that one as well. We first have to select the version of the command line tools to run. The advanced options let us do some additional filtering and configure thresholds related to code complexity and so forth. Let's go with the defaults here and save the build step. An additional nice thing is that under the build failure conditions, we can now let our build fail based on the results of inspect code and dupe finder. For example, we could fail the build if the number of inspection errors increases by 5% compared with the previous build, or the number of code duplicates is higher than a given number. This is great when using feature branches, for example. Using automated code inspections and dupe finder, we can have the build fail or succeed based on the code quality and then decide if the branch can be merged or not. Once a build completes, we can see a visual representation of code issues detected by Inspect Code and Dupe Finder. Let's open the code inspection results first. We can browse through the various projects and look at code inspection results. We can also browse through the issue types and then see which files they were found in. If the TeamCT plugin for ReSharper is configured, we can even jump to the specific line number in a code file in our IDE. Now remember I specified Inspect Code's output paths? I did this to be able to download the raw XML output from Inspect Code. Let's go to the artifacts and save the file to disk. The cool thing is that we can now open this report in ReSharper and then browse through the various code issues that were discovered while building on TeamCT. ReSharper opens the inspection results and then lets us navigate through the issues by category and issue type. For dupe finder, we can look into the duplicates tab. We can filter on scope and then look at the duplicates. The actual duplicated code fragments are shown here as well, so we can compare them from the TeamCity UI. On other CI servers like VSTS or Jenkins, we can also run the ReSharper command line tools during builds. For this, we will need to add the command line tools NuGet package to our projects. Let's install it through the Package Manager console. Next, we can add an MS build target, either to an individual project or to the overall build script. Let's unload this project here and then add the build target at the bottom. We have to specify the solution to analyze and can then specify whether we want the output XML file or not. In this case, let's just specify the solution and project we are interested in and then save and reload the project. If we now build this project, code inspection results will be added to the output as regular warnings and errors. When this build is then run on the CI server, the build log will also contain this information and we can act on it. By integrating the ReSharper command line tools with a CI server, a build can fail or succeed based on code quality issues. The Inspect Code tool can help providing feedback on overall code quality by leveraging all of ReSharper's code inspections. The Dupe Finder tool helps finding duplicated blocks of code. Thank you for watching! Check our website and give it a try.